Many years ago, I visited a family on the coast of North Carolina that was working to start a small business, a bakery. Linda Shaw worked on this same project. I would drive every week end to work with this family on bylaws to set up a new worker-owned business. And I would go there and I was trying to be polite. It was the middle of the winter, it was freezing cold. And whenever I would show up, they would put me in this back bedroom and they had a kerosene heater in the middle of the house and it was so hot. And I kept thinking, I, I ought to speak to them, but I was thinking, you know, it was a, it was a black family, they never had a white person stay in their, in their house before. And so I was thinking, you know, maybe there's something just really weird about black people in heat. But after about three weekends of this, I went to them, I said, do you think we might turn the heat down just a little bit? And of course, you know what they said. They said, well, thank goodness. We thought there was something just really strange about white people in heat. <laughs> well, what I found out a couple of weeks later was that during this entire winter when I, that, that someone told me when I would come down to stay uh, and it was freezing. I would come and stay with that, with that family. This friend of the family told me, they said, Martin, what you didn't realize is that during the week when you weren't there because they were unemployed, they didn't use any heat at all. They would go with no heat in the freezing weather so that they would have enough kerosene to heat the room when you were there. Now, what do you think that family could ask of me that I wouldn't give? When people sacrifice for you, you will be there for them when they need you. As St. Augustine once said, we should preach the gospel wherever we go and use words only when necessary. Here was a man with moral authority who knew that being there meant a lot more than just talking about a problem. So if it takes a sacrifice to bring the minority home ownership rate back up to the national average, then I say so be it. And while it is true that we should love our enemies, sometimes we have to stop them first. And if it takes sacrifice to lift the poor, to feed the hungry, to clothe the naked, to house the homeless, to comfort the afflicted, and to save the world, then I say so be it, let's get started, and let's start today. Thank you.